Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Um, you know, this isn't really going to be a supercar content kind of day. It's something that I actually want to address that still isn't fixed in this game that we should have answers to. Now, we did cover the Shamburger situation. That got resolved extremely quick. So I thank Cat Daddy and, you know, 2K for doing all that stuff. But there's still a problem with this game that we haven't discussed that's kind of been bothering me. And that's also another reason why you guys haven't seen it on my channel recently. So let's get right into it because I don't know why this is still a problem. And, you know, does it affect us in a way? Kind of does because we go for these cards for a reason and instead we are getting screwed really hard and I don't know like why people don't really address this on YouTube but lucky for me I like to address it because I care about this freaking game so damn much that I actually want to address it because there is a major problem what is that major problem it is king of the freaking ring king of the ring is so mother effing broken I can't even put it into words now how can you say king of the rings broken well I'll tell you right there King of the Rings broken because heroics get their ass kicked. Full heroics are getting their ass kicked by non-heroics and half-heroics. You see it all the time on Twitter. You see all the people complaining, this is bullshit, how you lose this, how is this possible? I'm telling you right now, uh, all the proof that I'm going to show you, they all have momentum slots on their characters. And then we'll also reference to like comparing what it would be if it was. So let's break it down real quick and uh, get into Exhibit A because this is actually uh, a little like crazy. This one is actually the icing on the cake to me. We have a full heroic, full heroic against a non-heroic. Full heroic, non-heroic. Now, Jamie's Andre is in a momentum slot. Which means his power is 950k and his charisma, if he did go charisma, should be about 930 something. Uh, for the purpose of this video, let's just autofill my thing so we could see. 936. If, if, even if he didn't go charisma, we'll go with the lowest stat, 913 on the card. So Jamie, unfortunately, has a. Uh, I believe the Drake is about a six to seven thousand advantage for the other guy because he does have a shattered Drake Maverick ahead of his, and he has a Kurt Angle. They both have Kurt Angle, so he only has about a nine. Oh, I think it's like a seven thousand advantage on his Andre in charisma. So, how the hell did he lose this match? It makes no goddamn sense. A heroic 950 and if we're gonna compare Andre it's similar to like a little uh, it's about a little more powerful than this money in the bank I would say maybe 891 total wise but it's not a huge difference we're, and this is with momentum on the card as well 891 and if his third best hat is charisma you're looking at about 877 878 I couldn't find a car with no charisma uh, well, any charisma on the Andre. But Money in the Banks are literally near equivalent to an um, event car by a difference of 1 to 3K. So it blows my mind that a fully heroic Andre the Giant lost here to a non-heroic. Non-heroic with 891. There is no proc on this card at all. He did not proc as you can clearly see. It blows my mind. And we're going for these full heroics because we all want that special little advantage. Now, this one is crazy. So let's go into more. You guys all know my good friend, Super Zomega oh Barbecue. King of the Rings are broken as shit. How did he lose this match? Now, he did post evidence of his Chad Gable being in a momentum slot. He had 885, uh, I believe it was 885 charisma. For the purpose of this video, now I'm going to put my Seth Rollins in a momentum slot. Let's just remove this right now. And my Seth Rollins has 888. All right. You could add a damn WrestleMania enhancement if you want. His Chad Gable was 885 with enhancement. That's JB's with enhancement, but it doesn't matter because I don't think enhancements really count towards King of the Rings. 
Either way, his chat gable has 30k proc. I'm not kidding you. JB's 30k proc. And looking by that result, because he's his card didn't proc, he lost. How is that possible? There's no way. Saffron should have instantly lost this battle 100 percent How did he lose? Are they not, are they saying that? JB's momentum doesn't count? Is momentum broken? Is King of the Ring procs broken? Something just doesn't make sense. And King of the Ring is just stupid. Let's get into another exhibit. Here we go again with JB again. As you all know, JB does have momentum on his cards. Clearly does. And uh, he lost a full heroic versus a half heroic. And he has the support advantage, which gives him an extra 9,000. But, you know, I don't know what the other guy had for matches two and one. But end of the day, uh, King Kitten, I don't even think, even if he went toughness and speed on his card, he would have won this. There's just no way possible. Heroics are like a 28K advantage. When you, when you get a heroic card, you get about an extra 28K, 29K to every stat on your card. And... That's per card, by the way. And this guy only got one, and this JB got two. And he loses this match. And you're all going to ask yourself why. And if you look everywhere on Twitter, you'll see full heroics every damn time losing to half heroics. This has already been proven for years. The support is broken. Unless you have the same stat on that support, the odds of it getting called is 50-50. So why is King of the Rings so effing broken? First off, the new King of the Rings are garbage, in my opinion. I hate the new King of the Rings. I love Season 1 Season 2 King of the Rings way more. You actually could spend the day not worrying about King of the Ring because you had 45 hours to do everything. You could energize. People didn't energize every hour. But in this King of the Ring, you need to literally be awake for 24 freaking hours just to win. Hopefully. Unless you get screwed on calls like this. So I really think uh, Cat Daddy 2K really needs to look into the King of the Rings because it's incredibly broken. It's been broken for quite some time, I would say. The support thing has been definitely broken for a long time. I know that for a fact. I've been telling you guys to use the support glitch myself for over three years now because of how broken the supports are. And for all of you who use my advice, I appreciate you for taking advantage of my little support thing I tell you about. But, yeah, this should be fixed. This is stupid, retarded. Why are we going for full heroics knowing that half heroic is currently better right now when it really won't make a difference for us in Road to Glory because, you know, the advantage is like, meh, in Road to Glory, you can still proc and win with half heroics. So why are we going for full heroics if they mean that they really have no sentimental value to us with King of the Rings being broken? I just, I just need to understand this. So, Cat Daddy 2K, if you're watching this video, Please look into this. This is ridiculous. This has been going on for some freaking time now. We don't know what's going on. Fix it. This is dumb. Retarded. Dumb. We're spending money on this. Everyone's spending money on this. B-Bro getting screwed left and right. You're probably getting support tickets left and right all over this issue. Why is it not fixed? Fix it. So that's the only thing I'm going to have today, guys. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this little, little rant video because we need this to get fixed. And I think they should reconsider bringing back the old King of the Rings because people really enjoy that way more. Hopefully, maybe season six, they change their damn minds because this King of the Ring format is crap and suckus and extremely bad for your health. They're pretty much forcing you to pay the 300 credits to a manager, which even like people are awake usually about 16 hours a day, 14 hours a day. And uh, they're really forcing us to be like awake for like 18, 20 hours and then use the damn manager. Like what the hell? Uh, that is just borderline wrong. So change it up. Definitely needs to change it up, guys. My name is Ben Releaseman. Thank you all so much for me. Like, comment, subscribe, as always. Follow me on Twitter. And we'll see you uh, tomorrow, guys. Take care. Have a good one. I got to get ready for work. Another place where, you know, <laughs> I kind of feel like I'm getting screwed, too. <laughs> I hate Saturdays. I really do.